We have a question from Zachary. I'm hoping you can provide some technique tips for the ab wheel. It is the simplest exercise in the world, but I'll, I'll try to help you. To me, as someone who does it from the knees, which I agree, it feels like a straight arm lat pull down on a cable machine, which is exactly what I think you should do. I have a feeling it's supposed to be more ab dominant. The, real quick, Zach, um, the body is one piece. The body is one brilliant piece. To make the glutes work harder, you have to engage the, the, the abs. To make the glutes work harder, you have to push your knees apart. The body is one piece. So the abdominal wall doesn't just sit there like uh, Frankenstein's monster got, just got it, you know, sewn in there. It, it, uh, it might be worth your time to look at uh, uh, Meyer's book, Anatomy Trains, and look how this system is tied into the lats and everything else, by the way. Um, so let's, let's not call it um, ab dominant, okay? Uh, the reason I like the ab wheel so much is that uh, when I train people, we do so many deadlifts and snatches and cleans. And the nice thing about the ab wheel is it's the opposite direction. It gives some, some balance to the training, though probably, we probably don't do enough. The other concern I have is regarding the transition point. I, pre I prefer the rollout in lumbar extension or neutral spine. And at the moment when I transition to the rollback, I, I feel my tail tuck under, which means lumbar flexion. I essentially finish the exercise in the cat vomit position. Yeah, that's, I think, how you're supposed to do it, if that makes any sense. I can feel my abs when I do this. That's how it should feel. That's how it should feel. One thing I would recommend, I recommend this to a lot of people, is once you get to a certain point, there's, I mean, it's a nice thing to do. I mean, it's showy, but there's a place somewhere about here that if you've ever had any hernia surgeries, and I've had one, where you can feel where you're transitioning from lifting the weight to popping the umbilical hernia out again. Uh, I would try to, I try to get people to focus more in the range of about here and really slow down and really be, uh, really show the uh, proper effort there. Uh, you don't have to do a magic shoulder trick to bring it all the way out. And, and while we're talking about that, Zachary, if you're, if they have the handles here, you do need a lot of shoulder flexibility to get there. I use the Sorenix ab wheel. Uh, the one that the hands are out about here, and it's much more friendly to the shoulders of a, a North American male with our shoulder issues.